two phrases expressing the extreme closeness between Princess Kate and King Charles. The declaration of King Charles's support for his beloved daughter-in-law seems to indicate the extent of their intimate relationship. In a statement following the dramatic speech in which the Princess of Wales revealed her shocking cancer diagnosis, King Charles complimented her. Nevertheless, two phrases in particular highlight how close they truly are. The statement was published by the monarch, who was also given a cancer diagnosis earlier this year. In it, he expressed his pride in Catherine for her bravery. According to the statement, Kate became an official member of the royal family in 2011, and the king maintained closest contact with her. The king's relationship with his beloved daughter-in-law was discussed by royal analyst Jenny Closeness in an interview with Oak. She highlighted two phrases that expressed their special closeness. I saw that the king stated he was in the closest contact with his beloved daughter-in-law. In his statement of support following Kate's broadcast, Ms. Bond remarked, The statement closest rather than closest caught my attention. The specialist noted that this probably brought them even closer together because both of them just disclosed their struggles with cancer. Cancer has undoubtedly strengthened an already strong relationship, the speaker stated. Thinking of Charles toddling down the corridor to see Kate when they were both in the hospital brings up really warm memories, and following their private lunch at Windsor Castle the day after she taped her program, it's thought that the king was deeply moved. So very few people in whom a senior royal can confide, certain that everything they say will be secure, the analyst went on. The ability to talk about their feelings and the effects of the chemotherapy treatment must have been consoling for both Charles and Kate. Ms. Bond said that in addition to praising Kate for her genuine affection for her father-in-law, the monarch enormously proud of her. Ms. Bond said, Recall that Diana mentioned that Charles had always desired a daughter. He also adores the grandchildren, with whom he now spends a lot more time at Sandringham or Windsor. Ms. Bond stated that with reference to his grandchildren, he is probably making an effort to remain a fun grandpa in spite of his cancer struggle. Despite the Prince and Princess of Wales' absence due to their continued attention on Kate's illness treatment, King Charles recently left the house to attend the yearly Easter Sunday service in Windsor. Following the announcement of Kate's cancer diagnosis on March 22, the couple decided not to bring their three children to the service. All three of the king's siblings were among the other family members who joined him, though.